Food Hall coming 2021 here in Oviedo. There's downtown Orlando, there's, uh, let's see, downtown Winter Garden, downtown Mount Dora, and Oviedo here is no different. Food Hall coming, because there's massive growth in our area. So today we're gonna talk a little bit about why people are moving to Oviedo, why you might wanna consider it. Later in the video, we're gonna interview some people on the street. Stay tuned. All right, so let's start off with location. We are just like 15 minutes north of the University of Central Florida, which has over 70,000 students. It's the largest public university in all of Florida. That's just 15 minutes south of us, but really we're like 25 minutes from the Orlando International Airport. We're 25 minutes from downtown Orlando. We're 40 minutes from Disney and the coast. So really it's kind of equidistance from a lot of the things that you might be moving to Florida for. All right, so let's talk about real estate because that's what many of people are looking for when they're moving to an area, right? And so real estate here, I think people that want to move to Oviedo are looking maybe because they've been priced out of Winter Park and they've been priced out of some of the more expensive areas of town. So you're gonna have about a 10% savings by moving to Oviedo than you would in a lot of these other areas. You've got new construction options, you've got some of the older houses. But one thing I know people love about Oviedo is that you do have an opportunity to purchase a little bit more land in the area. So much of Central Florida is these cookie cutter homes on cookie cutter lots you have some different options in Oviedo that's one of the reasons I love it all right so that's what I think about Oviedo but let's talk to some locals and see what they think all right guys so I'm Ken I'm a real estate agent youtuber why do you guys like living in Oviedo um, it's really nice, like close to the college. You go to the college? Yeah. All right, cool. What's the, what's there to do in Oviedo? I actually work at Marlowe's Tavern right here. We got some great food, good drinks. Yeah. The vibes are always great here. Nice. Good weekend spot or all, all week? All the time. All, all the, the time. time. There's cool. another spot I just interviewed for, Ruckus Cycling. Nice. So it's pretty cool. So there's a lot of construction going on here. What do you think Oviedo needs next? I don't know what it needs next. I think it's, Honestly, I think it's going yeah. in a good direction right now. It's a really good yeah. direction, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. What's your favorite thing about living here? Honestly, I think that people are great. Yeah. I haven't met, there's, there's no nasty people here. I'm from South Florida. There's a lot of nasty people down there. It's a great area to live here. Amazing. Thank you guys so much. Yeah. Bye. All right, so we're right over here by Oviedo on the Park, and I guess they're getting ready for Oktoberfest, which I think that's amazing. I know they do a lot of events here in the area, but let's see if we can get some of these people to actually talk to us. One of the things that people are saying, they're like, we don't want to go on camera to let you know how amazing this place is to live because we don't want other people moving here and making it too overcrowded, which I feel like you guys are moving here anyways. Let's see what we can do. I'm Ken. What's your name? Tony. Tony. What do you love about Oviedo? It's quiet and it's simple. It's quiet and simple. So where, where, where are we hanging out today? What are we doing here? Salsas. Going to uh, have some beers and, and tacos. Nice. Is this your favorite spot here locally? One of my favorite spots, yeah. yeah. If you had to change anything about Oviedo, what, what would you maybe change? To have an overpass on Alafaya and Mitchell Hammock. A little bit easier of a drive? Yes. Okay, cool. What do you think they're doing? Where they're doing really well here? Like you've seen it kind of expand maybe over the years. What do you like? Uh, they're opening up more restaurants, especially down over in Oviedo. All right, cool. My name's Ken. What's your name? Abigail Capiro. Abigail, great to meet you. How long have you lived in Oviedo? Oh, probably about 10 years now. Oh, wow. So you've seen it kind of grow up a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. We used to live over by uh, Tuscaloosa Red Bug area, mm -hmm. and then we just moved over onto this side. Yeah. Um, my husband's lived here his whole life. So oh, no kidding. I'm from, yeah. Where are, you from, where are you from originally? That was my next question. Longwood. Longwood. Oh, so Orlando or Central Florida in general. Yeah, I just switched sides of town. Right yeah. On. What do you like most about living in the area? 
I just love how there's so much of everything. There's so many nice restaurants, so close, mm -hmm. shopping. There's pretty much everything you want for shopping yeah. nearby. There's a mall. There's all kinds of specialty stores. And we just love the variety of restaurants and everything's just so close. It's, it's like really everything you need is like close proximity. Yeah, and no I-4. And, and no that, I that's a brilliant thing that I definitely point out. So if you, you've seen it change over the past 10 years, if you had to change one thing about it though, what would that be? Um, I don't know. I, th I like everything about it. We have little festivals that go on for each ho like for each season and holiday, so that's nice. I don't know. I wouldn't change anything about it. I, I would change um, not building so many apartments. Yeah, other people have said that. Yeah, yeah, I'm not really happy about that. It's already really congested, especially on this road, mm -hmm. and I don't feel like we need any more apartments. Mm, fair enough. So keeping with the, the apartments and real estate, what do you think about real estate in the area? I think it's great. Um, I mean, the prices are, of course, high, but they are everywhere in Florida, so uh, I think real estate's great. Thank you. Appreciate your time. Kathy, why do you like living in the Oviedo area? Well, I grew up in Central Florida and grew up in Winter Park. And um, when we were looking for a house to buy, this seemed more like home because yeah. it was a small community, but still everything you could possibly want at your fingertips. So, so you grew you grew up in the area in Winter Park. I grew up in Winter Park, yeah. Wow. So you've seen this whole area kind of grow up. A lot of this is new. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. What would you say you like uh, the most about what you've seen kind of happen over the area? Well, I like that they're trying to keep everything um, small town. There's some changes that I'm not, you know, really happy with, like as far as too much growth too fast. But I think that a lot of the um, my sons in Boy Scouts, and we've gotten to meet the the mayor of Oviedo, and she, they just seem like they would take every um, concern, you know, meant for the people, and it's not just like about making money. So hopefully, yeah, <laughs> they they have the best interest and heart of the. The, the homeowners and the residents the around area. here. Yeah, oh, that's amazing. So let's talk maybe about like real estate. What do you think about real estate in the area? Well, it's booming yeah. for sure right now. It so um, I think it's great for the values of our houses, and yeah. I'd like to see it keep going up. For so sure. it's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> do you think you get pretty good value for the money? For sure. Awesome. Can we use this uh, on our channel about moving to Orlando? Yeah, you want. Thank you so much. Yeah. You've been awesome. So that's our man on the street slash welcome to Oviedo video. I hope you learned something. It seems like the locals love the area. They love the real estate. They love all the new development, but maybe not the apartments. They want to keep sort of the, the conservation of the area, which I totally get. Cause you've got this really cool thing here in Seminole County where you've got tons of nature with a lot of these neighborhoods right among them. So listen, if you're looking to buy or sell a house anywhere in central Florida, my team and I would love to be your real estate resource of choice. So make sure you email us info at posicgroup.com. And then listen, make sure you hit the subscribe button as we're putting out new videos about life here in Orlando every single week. We'll see you guys on the next video.